this here is a Lotus 5000. It's a 50 amp plasma cutter. It's not a pilot art, but what I want to do is convert it to a pilot art. I wanted to buy a new machine, but this one still works. I've had this thing for over 10 years and it's working great. The only thing I don't like about it, it's not a pilot arc. And I saw like a strange video that some guy hooked the ground up to the tip and caused it to become a pilot arc on one of his, uh, like a cheap old plasma cutter. So I'm gonna attempt it. Uh, he ran a wire from the outside to the tip and it's kind of cheesy looking thing, but uh, I'm gonna try to make it look more professional. So the next steps I'll show you is how I'm gonna do it. So here's the original torch for the, the, the Lotus Plasma Cutter. Uh, it's pretty worn out as you see. I've used the daylights out of it. So I bought a replacement one. And uh, what I did, I soldered, I soldered a piece of wire on there to ground it out for the plasma torch to work. Uh, the only reason why I didn't buy a, one of those upgraded plasma torches is because look at all the consumables I have. I have hundreds of them. So, uh, you know, if I would have went to the new, I believe it's the AP60P, uh, that would have been the easier conversion because it already has this wire on the uh, torch head. And the only thing you had to do is uh, find a place that I could uh, drill a hole to put the grounding lead in there. But seeing that I have so many of these consumables, I decided to use the same type of torch and just uh, solder a, a wire on there and I'll run it through to the end to here. So here it is, quite dirty and dusty. Like I say, I've used the daylights out of it. I cut up so many cars, so many parts uh, in the past 13 or 12 years I've owned this thing that I am so shocked that it still works. So like I say, I'm upgrading it to the pilot arc uh, way I'm gonna do it. Will it shorten its life? Oh well, if it does, fine. I've owned it all these years. I'm gonna give it a try. Uh, if you wanna do this on your own, I'm not guaranteeing it's gonna work, but uh, I'm gonna see what happens. I blew it out. Uh, what I'm gonna do is possibly just drill a hole right here and I'll attach the, the lead to this grounding strap which is the same grounding strap as the, where the clamp comes out. Now I have all the wiring in there. As you see, the, uh, the yellow wire is soldered to the, to, that, to the pipe that's going through to the front. And uh, I'm gonna close it all up. Now I just put one of these lugs on there, which is connected to the ground that comes out to the ground, but I guess it's positive according to what it says on the wall. So I just put a red one in there. Wouldn't matter if you put a black one, but uh, I got these from Amazon and uh, it was like $11 for that bunch right there. The Pilot Art does not work the way I ran it. Uh, it was soldered into this. And uh, I must have been, when I went to go turn it on, it wouldn't even uh, strike an arc, even pilot art or non-pilot art. So now I realize what it is, this ceramic piece that's in here is a standoff. So the, this doesn't touch this part, this tip. So the ground that I ran to the machine off the pipe actually grounded out the torch causing it not to work now i know why that gentleman online ran a piece of wire around here and then it did work so i'm not going to go with the idea i'm going with because it's pretty much a failure but but i learned something that you can't make a pilot arc out of this unless somehow you get away from all this material and hook it right here the ground but i don't see it being very good so i'm just going to get that ap60p torch i believe that's what it is i'm going to order it and uh, hopefully it uh, solves my problem i'm pretty sure it does because he actually i think he did a video 
uh, running one on a basic plasma cutter like this and uh, it worked fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and order that torch, hook it up and see what, what it goes. Here we go again. As I said earlier, I had to upgrade the torch. I bought a whole entire torch. It came with the hose and the, uh, the uh, nozzle and the whole works for $30. I was shocked. Uh, so it would have saved me a heck of a long time to just, just do this. But you know, one problem I had with it, this part wouldn't go on easily because this part was sticking out. So I had it cut around here so this piece would slide, screw in. Also this part right here, this connection, uh, this particular plasma cutter has a three pronger and this hose that I got, torch setup was only two. So I just switched out the old one and soldered the wires on and uh, that was the only thing I had to do. And this part just went on to my stubby thing I just put into there. So I'm gonna turn on the machine and just show you it goes on. I don't have to cut any metal, it works. There's your pilot. <laughs> Two is uh, to upgrade your clamp. These run a sale on Amazon. They're made by Lincoln. They're only $6 a piece or $7. And they have the uh, copper going all the way around both sides. Uh, also, I used the welding lead ground from my old uh, arc welder. Just to upgrade the cable because the cable was pretty chintzy on this uh, plasma cutter. I did that a long time ago and it, it just... It, it, it helps it work a little bit better. Do I would cut thicker metal? I, I don't know, but it, I would say it would make the plasma cutter last a little bit longer. And uh, I hope this will help you uh, make a decision to upgrade your uh, old plasma cutter and see that it's working. Why buy a new one with Pilot Arc if you could make this one work uh, for a few more years, months, or whatever. Like I say, I've had this thing at least 10 years, I think 10 to 13 years I've owned this thing and it's worked amazingly. I bought a Miller Spectrum uh, 675 or 625. It was a little unit and I hated it. It was very temperamental. Uh, it was expensive at consumables. So I ended up just selling it and I sold it for almost double what I paid for. Uh, just because they've gone up so much, these Millers. and. Uh, I didn't see any any benefit to buying uh, having that Miller. So um, these little cheap Chinese plasma cutters work great. It's more like a sawzall. It cuts and demos and it does its, its work. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you uh, uh, take the challenge that I did and make your plasma cutter into a pilot art. Thank you very much.